Okay, so now I have glued on the decking, uh, front and uh, an aft, fore and aft. Um, well, the hull looks okay. I'm going to add some details after I have painted. I have decided. Um, then, to prepare the center deck, I've added uh, the walls on the back side, removed all protruding parts, added the uh, photo etch walls. Hopefully, you can see. So, these are the Pontos parts. Looks nice, but these need to be in place before I can paint the back wall, glue the deck to the hull, and, um, and add the wooden deck. So, this will be the wooden deck for the aft deck which looks kind of neat. Um, I've also been looking at uh, the colors for the kit and I'm thinking that I will be using live color. So I will be using uh, Deutsche Kriegsmarine uh, 51 for the hull and number 50 for the superstructure number five for the anti-fouling and then the dunkelgrau for the steel decks um, these colors come from this set which i think was quite nice uh, and i'm going for the pre-war color so no camouflage or anything these are the colors, and then we have the colors for the anti fouling. To glue the photo etch parts, I'm using the Flexi 5K CA glue, which works very nice for these things. Okay. Moving on. Okay, so now I've painted uh, the whole red and the superstructure in the DKM 51. Then I'm going to mask off and paint the black line. So I decided to do that before I added any details to the hull. Because I'm afraid that I will knock them off and the tape will rip off uh, any of the photo etch. So after adding the black line, I will be painting any protruding parts. So like the turret tower and those small details that are sticking up, so to say. Okay, so now I have um, given the hull uh, the paint that it should have, uh, both an anti-fouling black line and the hull is grey. There are some small things that need to be uh, touched up, but otherwise fairly good. And I really like the colors. Um, I've also painted uh, the protruding parts on uh, the deck and um, I've also given the wall on the aft deck a coat of paint. If it can focus the right place that would be good. So there, so the details are quite nice, I think. So uh, now I will be gluing this part, the center deck, to the hull. And um, then at least some of the wooden deck can be laid down. 
and uh, I can continue working on superstructure and um, detailing on the deck itself. So the next task after um, I've glued down the center deck is to add the details to the hull. Um, so the ladders and uh, the details around the anchor on sides and the derricks that goes into the middle. Okay, so here we have the kit parts B9 to B12. So I need to remove all the doors and windows and anything that sticks out. Glue this together before adding the photo etch that will actually cover and give the details to the tower. So again, taking the chisel and remove doors, porthole, eyebrows, and then I will be sanding over the parts. Of course, removing fret um, connectors, sorry, sprue connectors. The bridge tower is uh, complete. I've uh, glued it together. I have uh, given it a wash, so it should be ready for adding the photo edge details. So on sheet A, we have all the main parts for um, the walls, and then there are a lot of uh, tiny details that needs to be added as well uh, with the platforms and, and such. These look really good, so let's add them. Looking uh, a bit uh, further onto the uh, instructions, um, we have the platforms here on the side. Um, it needs to be added before I add uh, the front part to uh, the bridge tower um, and there is definitely a lot of details going on so I think this will be part of uh, the build log number three part three um, looks really nice though this is on the back side of the bridge so um, I need to use my Diamond file to take the connecting parts to the fret from the um, photo edge parts and uh, then glue the parts to the plastic with the Flexi 5K CA. Okay, so I hope you uh, enjoyed uh, this part number two. Please like and subscribe if you would like to see more. Thank you.